When it comes to modern gaming, a perfect example of what we can expect from the future is the sad fate of Pac-Man 99 on the Nintendo Switch. Released in April 2021, if you haven't already bought Pac-Man 99 then you never will, as the only way to obtain the game now is if you hoist the Jolly Roger flag, something Nintendo gets very very upset over. You see, Bandai Namco Games boo hiss, removed the game and all its DLC from sale on the 8th of September 2023, and then on the 8th of October they switched off the online servers, just over two years after release. Except that's not the end of this twisted tale. Hello everyone, my name is Random Gamer Riven, the editor of Randomized Gaming, and today we have a gameplay look at Pac-Man 99 on the Nintendo Switch, where I played a number of online matches, and a few offline before the servers closed. I've got a short introduction for the start of this video, then I'll leave you all in peace to watch the gameplay. Now, if this was an online only game, the server closures would be where the story of Pac-Man 99 ended. But it's not, as in a sickening twist, the game can be played fully offline in a Verse 99 CPU mode so long as players purchase the single player DLC, which Bandai Namco Games boo hiss, decided they would remove from sale. <laughs> Makes you wonder if the ghosts in Pac-Man run the place. So rather than do the morally right thing of cutting the game's price and only selling the bundled version with the offline mode, Bandai Namco Games boo hiss, instead decided that they didn't want to sell the game to anyone. We have a game featuring Namco's most iconic and important character from the history of gaming, and you would think they would want to sell it for as long as possible, even if it's at a discounted price. But nah. Bandai Namco Games boo hiss, have just thrown the game away like a used sweet wrapper into the digital dustbin. There's a lot to like about Pac-Man 99, it is a crazy arcade experience and is great for quick on the go gaming. It's not going to engross you for hours, but if you want a fun game where you battle 98 CPU opponents in Pac-Man then this is great fun. Score attack mode and blind time attack mode can also be played offline, so there's plenty of offline content here. The game uses the original arcade map layer and has a few adjustments to the original gameplay format to create this new 99 player version. This time around you can change how the perks affect you and you can spawn extra ghosts and respawn pills by picking up various items on the map. The aim is to rack up a high score while chaining ghost kills and pills. Doing so will allow you to send attacking pack men to other players. The longer the game goes on, the more the stronger they become. The white and yellow ones just slow and stun you, but the red pack men are just as deadly as touching a ghost. As the battle goes on, more of them spawn and you can't take them out with a power pill either. You only get one life so there's no room for error here. Last player standing is the winner and trust me when I say it's pretty damn hard to win. So you do need to get good at Pac-Man for this one. The game also has a huge selection of skins and themes from other 80s and 90s classic Namco arcade games. So if you ever wanted to see Pac-Man looking like Rolling Thunder, Splatterhouse Wanpacker, Graffiti, Dig Dug, The Tower of Duraga, Dragon Spirit, Mappy, Sky Kid, Cosmo Gang, or Xevious, this was the game for you. With over 25 skins to pick, there was plenty to choose from. Was past tense being the key word here. Overall it's a great little game and I don't see why Namco felt the need to bin it, when they could have just reduced the price and bundled it with the offline mode by default. Sadly, unless you've already bought this one or have a time machine, then you're out of luck. I can only hope that Namco 
sees the light and reissues the offline version. It does, however, serve as a warning for F099, which recently released on Switch. Which is technically already a dead game walking in effect, as it has no offline mode, and judging by how quickly Nintendo like to switch off online servers, you can bet it will only last a few years at best. That's it from me, be sure to subscribe to us here at Randomised Gaming, hit the like button, ring the bell if you want, check out the blog, follow us on Twitch, and buy us a coffee on Kofi, you know the drill by now. Enjoy the Pac-Man 99 gameplay!